Good morning and welcome to the Sudoku channel. This is Oliver coming to you from Yall by the Sea in Ireland over here in Europe. And this is video number 31 in the series of Sudoku solving techniques where I give an example from a real, real Sudoku puzzle and show you how a particular technique will work. Now this one is coming from a diabolical Sudoku from October 2021 and I had it up, in fact I have it up as video number 82 in my series of advanced uh, Sudoku puzzles and there is a link down below for that. Now, um, when I was trying to solve it, two people, two viewers came up with the solution, uh, Glenn and Ross, and I have their, um, what do you call it, their, their handles there. And I looked this up in, because I hadn't come across it before, I looked it up in sudokowiki.org and Sudoku Swami also has a description of it and a way of ex explaining um, how to solve it. So this is my one anyway. And it usually comes when you're close to the end of a solution and you suddenly find that every cell just has two values called a by value or a binary value. You can use either word. And if you look at all these, they're all two values except this one, which will come to later. Okay. Then the other thing you notice is that each house row or column has two and only two uh, candidates for a particular number. For example, if you look at the row, there's a two, we won't take that one. Come over here, this house. There are two fours for the house and also two fours for the row. And if you look at this four, there's also, sorry, that was two fours for the column and there's also two fours for the row. Now the sevens, by the way, I usually uh, color these as bold if they are um, a pair, the known as Snyder pairs. So there's two sevens there within the house. We've got two sevens in terms of this column. There's two sevens and in terms of this row, there's two sevens. Look at the two. There's two for the house. There are two for the row and there's two in this house. Uh, this one, we have two in this column. We have two in this row and two in this house. And we can do the same for the four. There's two fours there, two fours here, two fours here. So that is a requirement for this to work. That one, every cell bar except for one particular cell has only got by values, two possible values in the cell. Secondly, for every candidate, there's only a pair of them in the row, the house and the column. Now, if we didn't have this one here, if we got rid of it, right? Now it means that every cell that is yet to be filled out has binary values and they are all Snyder pairs. Now, what that means is no matter which one you take, you're going to have two possible solutions. And if you haven't seen this before, I'll put a link there to another um tutorial that I have and that's called unique rectangles and that one shows that if you have uni unique rectangles then the only solution is two solutions which is illegal and this builds on that basically all right now um, so if we look at this one there is a one here which means that if you look in this column we have three ones in this row, we have three ones, and in this house, we have three ones. Where if you look at the other ones, the two and the six, there are pairs of those. So if we don't have the one, it's illegal. And that means it must be a one. It is that simple. And believe me, if we put in the one there, we're going to get a solution. And I can prove that by, I'll put a link there to video 82-2 which starts off at this point here and comes to the solution. All right, so <laughs> that's it in a nutshell. I hope it's made sense to you. If not, sure, send me a comment down below and we'll see if we can sort things out. It is phenomenally powerful. It makes life so much easier. I've never seen it before in my life. It really is very, very good. 
Um, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comments and subscribe. Also, I'll put a link to other um, playlists that I have, which gives a full um, solution to various of these diabolical and some simple uh, ones as well. OK, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Hit the bell. If you hit the bell, you'll get automatically told of when my next video comes out. And I usually bring out two videos a week. OK. Till then, slant home.